Welcome back guys. If you're looking for beast mode scents, then look no further because today we're going over 11 fragrances that last longer than 24 hours. And this list is in no particular order. But if you stay till the very end, I'm going to share with you a fragrance that's actually from a fragrance YouTuber that you may have heard of. Sounds interesting? Let's get right into it. Let's start with one that you may have not heard of. That is Bubblegari's Aqua Amara. And man, whew, God damn, this scent is crazy. Crazy! This scent is so freaking good, bro. Whew. Let me just, let me just take that in for a second. This scent does exactly what it sets out to do. It's a clean and fresh and beautiful scent with mandarin orange, and it has also a neroli note in it and a patchouli note in it. It's masculine, and I think Jeremy Fragrance calls this the strength of the ocean, and I can see why. It smells like you're on the beach, but it's in the most masculine and accessible way possible. And man, this stays for hours. It's really surprising for a fresh and clean fragrance, like a shower gel type fragrance to last that long, but this one really does. Like you can wear this on your skin, on your clothes, and you'll still smell it the next day. The best part about this fragrance is how versatile it is. You can wear it to all occasions. And since it's just a fresh and clean scent, you can wear it with t-shirt and jeans, summertime, wintertime, fall time. You can wear it with suit. You can wear it with anything, man. This one is a rock star. Next is Mr. Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. What I love about this fragrance is is not only is it fresh and clean, it brings a really timeless scent. God, I always forget how good this smells, man. This shit, I need to wear this more. I literally need to wear this more because this scent lasts not only forever, but it develops over time into more sophisticated scent. The best part about vetiver is this is old school barbershop type scent, but it made it modern in a way that it's your dad's scent, but not your dad's scent anymore. It uses this grapefruit note in it, which is so seductive, yet clean and masculine. This is my go-to interview scent. This is my go-to wearing a suit scent. Anytime I want to be inoffensive, yet stand up for the right reason, I'm meeting my girl for his parents for the first time, this is exactly what I would wear. And it'll make a lasting impression without being the center of the party. Thinking with fresh and clean scents, let's just get this one out of the way. Creative Ventus, you've heard of it, King of Scents, yada, yada, yada. I mean, it doesn't really get anything better than that. There is this really beautiful pineapple note in here, which is what makes it last really long. Plus there's amber grease in it, which is whale puke, which is a, a whole other thing in itself. But it's the most expensive one on this list for a reason. It is that freaking good. It is really that good. There's clones out there. One I recommend, strong this club they know we but this one if you want to respect the original artist the original perfumer go for creative entities i wear this clubbing sometimes because there's nothing else that really just lasts that long that smells so masculine and it'll stand on your skin for 24 hours like a lot of times clothes can definitely retain scent longer but this one lasts on your skin maybe it's the high concentration of oils the high quality of ingredients in this but this one is a classic next is valentino's Wumo intense i need to wear this one more because Gosh, this, oof. wow. Wow, it's such a complex scent. It's it's iris and leather and, and ooh and mandarin orange. There's so much going on here, yet it's there's like this vanilla note as well. It's this is such a complex scent. It's your perfect fall and wintertime scent. Hell, you can wear this in springtime, summertime. I don't even think people will care. Cause when it lasts this long and it smells this good, it's definitely a keeper. I remember I wore this one when I went to a conference and people would like one person in particular stopped me and asked me what the hell I was wearing because it smelled so freaking good. In particular, fall and winter time and this one is a crush now this one might be the longest lasting on this entire list this will probably last 48 hours and that is Montales black ood this one is i mean i'm scared to even spray because i'm worried my whole room's gonna smell like this for a long time but this one combines rose and ood in such a sexy way rose is such a feminine scent first of all it's extremely floral but then they combine it with this extremely masculine sense of ood and sandalwood and leather and Gosh, it's just explosion of your face in terms of how strong and powerful this is. You are just two sprays of this and everyone around you will smell you. So be careful when you buy this because it truly is that strong and it will last for 48 hours, not even 24. This is a 48 hour scent. It's not that common. So you'll be the most unique smelling guy. I personally love this scent, especially in the winter time. In the winter time, the notes just rise beautifully to the top. I think this is an absolute must have for anyone's collection. If they're looking for a rose and oud scent that lasts literally for like a whole, it'll last three days, bro. This one is crazy. Good. Let's get into Versace Eros. Versace Eros. God of love. God of love. The best clubbing scent on the market. After maybe a couple others, I actually did a video for the best extroverted scents. This made the list. But this one has this apple note in there that's just woo, so good. So freaking good, bro. If you are going clubbing, you're going partying, you're about town, you're a young guy, you're a teenager, hell, you're in your early 20s, this is your go-to scent. It's this playful, seductive, you stand out, bro. 
you are the party. You know, that's what Versace Aero smells like. And it's that apple note, bro. That apple note gets me every time. This one will last kind of close for two days. I hate smelling this now because I used to wear this so often clubbing and I was doing a clubbing, you're drinking, you're hungover, blah, blah, blah. So when I smell this, I think like this is my hangover scent because every time I wake up in yesterday's clothes, I'll still smell this on my clothes and that's what this smells like to me. So definitely grab this if you're a guy who's a young guy who goes out clubbing. And speaking of clubbing, you gotta mention the king of Playboys, which is Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. This is that bubblegum, sickly sweet scent. It takes that very beautiful pear note that is really tough to make a masculine scent and it somehow, somehow, bro, it makes this the best freaking party clubbing scent on the market. This is your going to a cocktail bar. This is your going to a, an event where you need to make sure people love you. This is the king of Playboy and it really does last forever. It's true to his name, king of clubbing because you don't know where the day will take you. You know where the night will take you. That's what this fragrance is for and it does the job excellently well. Let's revisit Tom Ford's second and talk about his most popular fragrance, the best selling fragrance of his collection from all time and that is Oud Wood. I don't have the actual bottle because I just ran out of it but I have this atomizer and this Oud Wood was the first fragrance that actually got me into Oud because I'm not a guy who really likes how strong it smells but this one does it in such an approachable way. It has this soft Oud. It's not this strong in your face Oud. It also combines with cardamom and it combines it with, oh man, it's vanilla. There's the... <laughs> it's just coming, bro. It's just coming. It just doesn't stop. This one over time also formulates into a very complex scent. The dry down is what gets me every time. Like sometimes the beginning scent is not as beautiful as the dry down and that's what this really excels at. Plus it lasts amazingly well. I think on the skin, this actually performs better than on the clothes because it's the high concentration of oils and the high quality ingredients. If you love Tom Ford, you like spending a lot of money, but you don't care because hey, you're bougie like that. Get Tom Ford's Oud Wood. A recent favorite of mine that I just can't stop wearing is Mason Margiela's replica five the fireplace and man there's just something so nostalgic because it smells exactly like what it says it does it's so evocative it smells like someone's doing like a s'mores by the fireplace and everyone's laughing and having a good time and there's smog and ash and people are oh god this scent is just something special this is one of those fragrances that when you wear the girl your guy will want to get closer to you they want to sniff you more they want to smell you more because it's just oof, it's, it's the deliciousness it's a sexy it's a there's something about this scent that is just so and I, I can't put my nose on it but it exactly smells like what it's supposed to but it makes it perfectly in a bottle encapsulated takes that emotion that memory and magnifies it on a playing field that I have never experienced before but I freaking love this scent bro if you want to have a good time you want to just be in, in a happy place your happy place for as long as possible this is your go-to this last also one this is one of those 48 hour scents as well I mean sometimes I'll wash my clothes and I'll still be able to smell it on this I don't know what they put in here bro but this this is crazy this is next level stuff right here but I freaking love it so this one I also don't have the bottle for because I recently ran out but it is Carlisle by Parfums de Marly. And this one is Christmas in a bottle. Christmas in a bottle and wow. Woo! Damn, I'm damn, I, I gotta wear this one more too, bro. All these are so for I forgot how good some of these are, bro, because I just haven't reached for this in a while. Carlo might be Parfum de Marly's best fragrance after Layton. And there's something so so magical about this scent. They mix nutmeg and patchouli and vanilla and rose and apple. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Woo -hoo! Gosh, what a sense, bro. What a sense. If you're looking for a scent that smells like Christmas, and once again, who doesn't love... God, I gotta stop spraying this shit, bro. Like... <laughs> I'm here in my apartment by myself just spraying like 50 colognes, but I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you, bro. So you, you know, give me one of these thumbs up, you know, if you appreciate how much effort I'm putting in these videos. But I think out of my, this whole scent, this is my favorite wintertime fragrance. I haven't done a list yet. If you want to know one of my favorite wintertime fragrances, let me know in the comments below. But this is probably up there, number one or two for sure, man. I grab this. Just grab this, bro. Just, just grab this. Just grab this. And damn, we're, we're already at number 11. I guess we went through these pretty fast. Bro, I mean, hey, I'm just, when you're having fun, bro, time flies, right? But but as promised, the YouTuber fragrance that I think is the most beast mode out of all the fragrances on this list. This one lasts not even for 72 hours. This lasts a week. Jeremy Fragrances, Office for Men. Fragrance one, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. This one, this one is, this one's a moneymaker. 
I mean, Jeremy Fragrance, say whatever you want about him. Office for Men is the most beast food performance of any fragrance I've smelled on the entire market, period, bar none. Once you put it on your clothes, you'll probably smell it for at least two washes. He's put some crazy high quality ingredients here. It's made by the same perfumer who made Aqua the Geo perfumer, Alberto Maria. He is the king of perfuming and this fragrance he also did not miss. This is no joke. He took all these really popular fragrances, Aqua the Geo Perfumo, Dior Sauvage, Creed Aventus, Blue de Chanel, took the best parts of all these fragrances, popped them into a bottle, and they made an absolute beast mode of a performance. Now, the downside is I actually don't know how easy it is to buy it. I'll check online. Maybe he has some on his website. Office fragrance, you're going to be in, when you go to the office, you're there all day. You don't have time to re-up and refresh. And this one is truly beast mode. I also love just wearing this out and about, especially in the summertime. This one is a beautiful scent and it really should get more recognition. If you made it this far into the video, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so freaking much. I appreciate you. You're a real one. If you're new here, my name is Sid Chavla and I drop videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Man, if you got any value from this video whatsoever, mean the world to me. If you hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell. Give me, give me one of these thumbs up, please, man. It really, really helps me out. It takes one second of your time and it lets me know. So we appreciate you. We like this content. We want more of this stuff so I can help you guys out. And it helps me push the video to YouTube algorithm so more people can see this video. I can get more subscribers. You know how this shit works, bro. Like help a brother out, right? But listen, man, it's been a pleasure being here with you guys. Let me know in the comments what is one fragrance that you have in your collection that is absolute beast mode that I did not have on my list today. And I'm gonna bloop up my two most popular fragrance videos for the next time. And guys, I'll see you all very, 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 very soon. Take care.